And a live one at a launch of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. That would be SpaceX's 16th launch of the year. Uh, Morgan Brennan joins us. A little more commentary. Morgan. All right, so this is a Falcon 9 rocket that just launched from uh, Florida's Kennedy Space Center. It is carrying uh, a KoreaSat satellite into orbit. This is a satellite that's going to uh, bring broadband and television access uh, to South Korea. It'll be up in, in orbit for the next 15 years. Why this matters, this is the 16th launch for Elon Musk's space upstart. That means that it has now doubled its previous annual record in terms of launches. The, the most launches it had done in a single calendar year had been eight before now. Uh, it has several more launches on the docket before year's end. Then we get this first Falcon Heavy, the next generation rocket test, and uh, more milestones expected for this company next year. Uh, but the plan here, and this is going to happen within the next couple of minutes, is that first stage booster stage is going to detach. It's going to come back down. And for the 19th time in a row, the company company is going to try and land that back uh, on Earth, specifically on a drone trip ship in the Atlantic Ocean to be reused at a later time. It's launches like these. The company expects to do 30 next year, which would be half of all the launches scheduled in the world next year. Uh, it's launches like these that are the reason SpaceX is now valued at more than $20 billion. Kelly, back over to you. Incredible stuff. Uh, we'll see if it can stick its landing. Morgan, thank you very much. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.